Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and now I'm answering a question number 6B from the February March 2020 paper 2, Pure Mathematics 2 paper from Cambridge 9709. And this question, part B of this question, is to do with differentiation of trig of trig functions. Part A was to do with solving trig equations. So part B I'm saving in a separate video from part from part A. So I can save it in the playlist to do with differentiation. So here we have y equals 4 sine squared x plus 8 sine x plus 3. We have to find the exact gradient of the curve at A. If we look at part A, A is a point where the graph cuts the x-axis and in part A we had to find that um, in the x-coordinate of A, which we did. So we're going to take that x-coordinate of A and we're going to find the gradient of the curve at A, but the gradient has to be found by using the gradient function which is found by differentiating um, y with respect to x. So the gradient function is dy dx and if we differentiate this with respect to x we see that what our y is we have 4 times sine squared x. Now if you remember sine squared x is the same as sine x all squared. Okay you can think of it like that if you want plus 8 sine x plus 3. So when you differentiate um, sine squared of x which is sine x all squared we can think of this as the main function is something squared inside the function is sine x so we have a function within a function so we have to use the chain rule so the main function here is is something raised to the power of 2 which differentiates by multiplying by the power so I have 4 times I have 2 times sine x to the power of 1 okay so it's like I'll just write it for now okay and then I have to multiply by the differential was inside the function. If we differentiate sine x, you get cosine x. Okay, so I'm using the chain rule. So 2 times the coefficient, so 4 times 2, which is give me 8, times sine x to the power of 1, which is just sine x, times the differential of sine x, which is cosine x. Now, differentiating 8 sine x is a bit easier. It's just when you differentiate sine x, you get cosine x, as it's shown in the formula sheet, in case you didn't know. That's going to be 8 times cosine x. And when you differentiate a constant, like uh, 3 becomes 0. So the gradient function dy dx is equal to 8 times sine x times cosine x plus 8 times cosine x. And we want to find the gradient when x equals 7 pi over 6. When x equals 7 pi over 6. So we could use here um, the double angle formula and I could change this into 4 sine of 2x half the coefficient double the angle. Um, but you don't really need to. So the gradient at A, the gradient at A is going to be 8 times the sine of, you can say dy dx at A, because I'm not really a straight line thing. So I'll just put dy dx, okay, at A is going to be 8 times the sine of 7 pi over 6 times the cosine of 7 pi over 6 plus 8 times the cosine of 7 pi over 6. Okay, so um, we can work out what this is going to give us. Uh, so let's work that out. We have to be in radian mode, which we are. So we have 8 times the sine of 7 pi over 6. And then we got times cosine of, again, 7 pi over 6 okay and we've got plus 8 times um, cosine of 7 pi over 6 oops 7 pi over 6 okay and that should give us an answer which is negative 2 root 3 negative 2 root 3. So there's the answer to part B. It's all to do differentiation of these trig equations. Okay, so you differentiate this, we used the chain rule here, and the formula or the, the results for the differential of sine and cosine are found in the formula sheet. So that concludes part B of this question. Um, as I said, I'm going to save these as separate videos so that I can save them under the different playlists that I need to. Now part C is to do with integration of trig functions. So I'm going to um, save that under the separate video. 
Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in the top right of the screen at the end of the video. Other questions dealing with solving of trig equations and uh, trig equations identities from P2, from P3, sorry, of um, um, Cambridge um, 9709 can be found over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and the video that's linked here will take, tell you how to use my channel to find what you're after. Thank you for watching and see you soon.